Okay, here we are today here um, at the East West Shrine practice with uh, two time MEAC All American and uh, CSN Fab 50 <laughs> top player, 50 top players in the country, Javon Hargate. Javon, your senior season has come to an end and um, had a great career there at South Carolina State. And now it's time to look at uh, accomplishing that childhood dream of playing in the NFL. So since the season has ended, what have you been doing to seize that opportunity? Man, I've just been grinding at um, Etso's at Pensacola, man. Just waking up every day trying to get better and just kind of been in football school, just doing football every day now. Oh, yeah? Oh. So football school instead of math? Oh, yeah. It's all football plays and everything. Hey, that's one thing I can get an A in. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I might be able to get an A in that, too. <laughs> Okay, so it's all football. So what have you been learning? Just kind of, um, you know, getting my hands better and um, just with film work, just knowing what to read with the offensive lineman, just been kind of helping me a lot. So this type of uh, football education you're getting now, is it different than what you've been getting uh, before? Yeah, it's a lot different because it's something new. So I'm kind of learning new things. And, um, I mean, seeing different things. Um, I'm training with um, one of um Fred from New York Giants about years ago. He played kind of defensive tackle in the league. So he kind of just been telling me everything and working with us every day with it. So now I guess it's more about the technique of playing football versus just playing football, I guess? Yeah, it's more more detail in it, yes. It's more to it than just going out and playing. It's just a whole different learning everything by plays and recognizing plays and recognizing the blocking scheme. It's just a lot different now. Wait a minute, so you're telling me as a defensive of tackle, I mean, your job is what? Just tackle the guy with the ball. There's more to it than that? Oh, yeah, there's way more to it, man. You, it, It's crazy how much you, you can learn. Like, you got to learn to um, play at the next level. So i just been kind of soaking it all in and trying to learn and um, adapt to it. Okay, great. So after today's practice, you know, I, I've been here all week and looking at these different practices, and I see you guys in shorts and shoulder pads, and you're kind of walking through. And in my mind, I'm sitting here thinking, what, what are the coaches actually looking for when you see a guy in, you know, short shoulder pads? I mean, what, what can you actually show? Just um, for me, just kind of my get off and my speed and me um, just being able to move at this size. So it's always somebody looking and you just try to go out there and do what you got to do, man. Okay, now what you mean by this size? Just, I mean, 300 pounds and moving quick <laughs> like a running back or something like that and being able to run with it. You know, it's very fascinating to me. If you notice, I like to focus on the linemen and things like that because to me, I think some of the greatest athletes in the world are 300-pound linemen because I like to call it the typewriter feet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's amazing to sit here to see a guy your size that really runs as fast as a high school running back. You know, and that's that's kind of the way I kind of you know summarize the game. But what type of things do you actually have to do, you know, to be able to move that well as a 300 pounder? Man, I mean, growing up, I played basketball, and I, that, I think that's kind of how I got my footwork. Just having to guard guards, and my brother a point guard, so I'm guarding him every day. I oh, think yeah. that kind of made me agile like that. Yeah, you know, I, you know that's that's neat to say that because football, uh, I mean, our uh, basketball, you know, I mean, you have no choice but to move those feet. If you don't move them, somebody taking you to the hole. Oh yeah, man, I, <laughs> I done have made that happen on me plenty of times, but yeah, it helped me a lot though. Yeah, I I, I looked you up there, saw you played at uh, Salisbury, North Carolina, right? What, what was the name of the high school? No Rowan High School. No Harvard. Okay, yeah. So um, so what what's next, man? I mean, you know, after this. Back to work, getting ready for the combine, and um, hopefully do good there uh, and get some invites, um, team invites. Okay, so I, I'm sitting here with you, and I'm looking at you. I'm like, okay, this is guy is kind of like the small fish in the big pond. I look back, I see, I think you're the only guy here from the MEAC. Um, but you know, knowing you know your accolades of kind of following you there at South Carolina State. I've always said that guy has the talent to play at the next level. I don't care where he's playing yet. This guy has the talent to play because once you get it going in the line, you can be kind of disruptive. Uh -huh. That's that's kind of my game, man, just to disrupt everything, man. Just from playing little, I just knew just to run through and tackle the football. So 
growing up, that's all I knew. So Just, just tackle the football? Yeah. Okay. Hey, see ball, get ball when you're about <laughs> third grade. Well, I don't think it changes a whole lot, but I, I would assume, like you were talking about earlier, the details, the preparation, and, and trying to make sure you focus on those small things. I mean, I was watching your drills today, and the coach is just kind of walking you guys through technique. Yeah, I mean, it's it's always the little things, man, just – Anything you can learn, man, you just got to try to soak it in and just try to pay attention to the small details. All right. So what's what's the best thing um, happening for you this week here at the East West Shrine game? What, what is the best thing that you've done, you think? I guess the um, one-on-ones. I got a, a few wins in that and just showing my quickness and um, disrupting things still. Hey, there you <laughs> go. That's, that, that's the lineman. All right, so this is a great call you're here with Action Sports and News. And, again, with two-time uh, MEAC Defensive Player of the Year, Javon Hargrove, down there with those South Carolina State Bulldogs. Now, what is that song y'all sang down there? Was it Hear It For The Bulldog or something like that? Yeah, get Up For The Bulldog. <laughs> get Up For The Bulldog? <laughs> yes, sir. All right, now, when I'm at the games, I can kind of see these guys on the sideline doing some kind of dance. Or... You talking about them cute dogs, the cute dogs. All right, you got it? Oh, no, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to wrap this thing up here with uh, Javon Hargrove and uh, again uh, here at the East West Shrine game and uh, this is Greg Collier with Action Sports and News.